electronics on the floor. Introducing the light dependent resistor. A small part with many applications in electronics. I'll talk about a few of them in this video. They come in various sizes. Here in Australia, you can buy them for around $3 each. To test them, just grab a multimeter and put it on its resistance range. The multimeter is on a 400K resistance setting. In daylight, though it is late afternoon and it's not direct sunlight, it's 8K. Cover it up and it goes to about 90K. Let's try the other LDR, as there are some differences between them. With the big LDR, about 600 ohms in daylight. Covering it up with my finger, about 4K. Then with insulation tape and my finger covering up, around 11K, though it may well be more in extreme darkness. Let's say you want to turn something on and off. On when it's light and off when it's dark. The easiest way to do it is to get a PNP transistor which will draw like this. This is the emitter, base, collector, now let's say that we are powering a buzzer, positive of the buzzer there to the collector, negative down here, and we have in the base lead our light dependent resistor. Power supply, this can be positive, that's negative. Here I'm going to use 6 volts worth of batteries. Bear in mind, it is a PNP transistor, not an NPN, and NPN is most common. I'll be using a BC558, but any small signal PNP transistor will be fine for this experiment. I'll put some equivalents up on the screen. The idea with this circuit is that when there's no connection in the base, or it's a very high resistance, then no current flows through the transistor to the collector, and then through to the buzzer. In other words, you're not hearing anything from the buzzer. On the other hand, when it's low resistance, like we've got some bright light shining, then that causes the transistor to conduct, current to flow, and the buzzer to sound. Well, at least that's what it is in theory. Let's see if it works in practice. We've got six volts worth of batteries here, four double A's in a battery holder. And we'll zoom in a bit closer. This is all it takes. The light dependent resistor, the PNP transistor, and the buzzer. Turn on the power, and the buzzer sounds, that's because we're in light. In darkness, the buzzer goes quiet. So that's a very simple way of using a light dependent resistor to switch something on when it's light. Now, what about if you want to change it around so the buzzer sounds when it's dark, not when it's light. All we need to do is change the position of the LDR and add an extra component. The LDR instead is up here and the extra component is a resistor. I'm using 150K, but depending on the LDR, it may well be less. The value won't be very critical. Try values anywhere between maybe 10K and 220K. If it's too high, then the K 
current through the base will be so small that it won't properly turn on the transistor and sound the buzzer. The idea of this is that in the dark the LDR is high resistance so it might as well not be there but the resistor here is sufficient to pull the base down and thus activate the transistor and sound the buzzer. Whereas when it's bright the LDR here is low resistance only a few kilo ohms and this 150k resistor is pretty much ignored. It's not enough to pull the base voltage down very much as it's held tightly up to the emitter or the supply voltage by the low resistance of this LDR. So that's what it is in theory. Let's give it a practice to see if this version works as well. So here it is set up. It's bright, or at least sort of bright given the diminishing daylight. In darkness you hear the buzzer. Bright, darkness, you hear it. So that's how you can set something up to turn on in the dark, the opposite of what we had before. Transistors aren't the only things you can use LDRs with. If you've got an Arduino, you can use it there, again, to switch something on or off when the light gets above or below a particular level. There's other applications, like if you had the LDR connected to an audio oscillator, especially one where you could vary the tone with the potentiometer. Well, what you do is you just put the LDR in series with your potentiometer and you can get it to change the pitch of the note. <laughs> You can do a lot of experiments if you've got access to the squelch line of a VHF, UHF receiver or transceiver. Unfortunately, that means opening the thing up and you're very likely to damage it in your ham-fested efforts to find the correct point on the circuit board. You can get around it if you use a light-dependent resistor and transistor switch circuit like we described before. Then you can sound a buzzer, activate a relay, or do whatever you want to do when a signal is present. Here's a demonstration. VK3Y testing. That could be useful if you wanted to make a parrot repeater using the one transceiver on the one frequency with a digital voice recorder, a cross-linked repeater, needing two transceivers or some sort of information beacon that's only activated when a signal is received. This has been our look at light dependent resistors, a versatile component with many applications. Buy some and start experimenting today.